This is Mr. Toops. I hope y'all are doing well. <clears throat> this is our exponential function uh, application problem worksheet. This should be done after the video. So once you watch the video first, this should not be that difficult. Some things you need to remember. If you have growth and you have a percent, you'll do 100 plus the percent and then make it a decimal. If I can spell right. If you have decay, which means the population is going to go down, you're going to do 100 minus the percent and then make that a decimal. And that will turn into your common product. <clears throat> okay, so on the first one, Jimmy John tried on hats at the Spurger Pawn Shop. Jimmy John now has 15 lice in his hair. The population of the lice will increase by 60% each day. Write this situation with an exponential function. Since it will increase, we have growth, don't we? So we're going to take the 60% and add it to 100. And we would get 160%, right? If you move the decimal two times over, you get 1.6. So our equation would be we start off with 15 lice. That's our starting number. Remember, it's A, B to the X, right? This is our starting number. This is our common product, which will be 1.6 to the x power, right? And we want to know how many lice will be in after 10 days. So we're going to do 1 point, or 15, parentheses 1.6 on your calculator, you'll hit caret, and then 10. So 1, 15 times 1.6 to the 10th power, right? Let me get my calculator out. Remember on these problems, we're going to round too. So 15 parentheses, 1.6. If you don't have a, a calculator like this, you could use your phone, hit the caret key, and then to the 10th power, right? Yep, to the 10th power. So to the 10th power, and we're going to get 1649.27. So 1649.27. If we round that, that would be 1,649, wouldn't it? So we have 1,649. Remember, if you're dealing with living creatures, you're going to round this number. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to go over here and graph it. What would the y-intercept of the graph represent? 15, right? So put it, since this is growth, it's going to go up. So down here, we're going to put 0, 15. This will be the number of lice. And this will be the days. So the, we start off 15 equals starting amount. That's what the y-intercept represents, or the initial amount. What would the common product of this graph be? It's going to be 1.6. What is the asymptote? The asymptote would be the x-axis, wouldn't it? Now then, on your star test, or if you were to take it, the x-axis is really y equals 0. It goes through the y-axis at zero, and it's just straight across. Okay, so let's graph this. We're going to graph 10, comma, just go up here somewhere, put a dot, and put 10, comma, 1, 6, 4, 9, right? Remember, our curve is going to do something like this, right? It won't be a straight line, will it? Okay. So we're going from 0, comma, 15 up to 10 days and 1,649. Our domain is going to go from 0 to 10, won't it? So the domain goes from 0, less than or equal to, to x, less than or equal to 10. The range is going to go from here up to here, won't it? Which will go from 15 to 1,649. Okay, that's all you got to do. Same thing as the video. Except in this, we're writing the domain in range. We did not do that in the video, even though there was a uh, sponsor of the commercials about that. <clears throat> Let's do number four. Bubba Bob got a ride in Jimmy John's car, and now Bubba Bob has 30 lice in his hair. The population of the lice will increase by 80% each day. Write this, write this situation as an exponential function. The lice is going to grow, so we're going to do 100 plus 80 and get 180, right? And if we get, make that a decimal, we get 1.8. So our starting amount is 30, and our common product is 1.8, and we want to know after 14 days. 
So we're going to do 30 times 1.8 to the 14th power, right? To put that in the calculator, you'll do 30 times 1.8, and then you'll hit the caret key 14, won't you? So let me do this on the calculator. Uh, 30, parentheses, 1.8, close parentheses, caret 14 to the 14th power. So I have 30 times 1.8 to the 14th power. Wow, 112,444 lice. Oh, 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 oh. 112,444 lice. Wow, okay. Now then let's go grab these. So we start off with 30. Remember, this will be our lice. This will be the days. Usually your x-axis is, is, in, is in time. We're going to graph 0, 30. So put a dot down here and put 0, 30. And then we're going to go up to 14, comma. So just put a dot up here. And it'll be 14, 112, 444. And then it's going to be a curve that goes up at it. Remember, it's not a line, it's an exponential growth function. If this curve were to continue, it would have an asymptote on the x-axis, wouldn't it? The y-intercept re represents, uh, we have 30 equals the initial amount, or it's your starting number. The common product is 1.8. The asymptote would be the x-axis, which is y equals 0, that's your line, or the x-axis. And the domain is going to go from 0 to 14. So the domain goes from 0 to 14, doesn't it? So 0 less than or equal to 14. And the range goes from the 30 to this. So from the 30 less than or equal to, less than or equal to 112,444. That's a lot of lice. Any questions on that? You're going to continue this. I'll do the rest of it for you. Okay. You're going to have three more videos to finish this up. Okay, number seven. Jimmy John went to the Jasper Medequip to treat his lice. They gave him a shampoo which will eliminate 75% of the lice after each use. Jimmy John currently has about 300,000 lice. Write this situation with an exponential function. So our initial amount is 300,000. You got to squeeze it in here. Now then, it's going to get rid of 75%. If it gets rid of 75%, 25% is left. That's what happens. So since this is going to go down, we'll subtract and get 25. And 25% as a decimal is 0.25 in it. So we'll put 0.25 right here. And this will make that 300,000 shrink. Now then, we want to know after 14 washes. So we're going to do 300,000, parentheses, 0.25, Close parentheses, caret 14, right? So let's put that in the calculator. 300,000 parentheses, 0.25, close parentheses, caret 14. So 300,000 times 0.25 to the 14th power. And we have, now then, this is interesting here. 0 0.001118, that means he has no lice because it's less than one. So if this decimal gets less than one, it's going to be zero lice. It'll never, ever get to zero, but it will round to zero on it. So after 14 washes, he won't have any lice. So zero lice. Okay, so we're going to start up here. Since this is decay, or let's see, we still have lice. And uh, actually, it's the number of washes, right? How many times he washes his hair? So put a dot here and put zero comma 300,000. And then this graph is going to go down at the 14th wash. It's going to be at zero, right? Or very close to it. Ah, it's going to do something like this. Okay. So the y-intercept would represent the 300,000 equals initial amount. The common product is 0.25. The asymptote is the x-axis. And remember, if you write that as an equation of a line, it's y equals 0. Your domain is going to go from 0 to 14. So 0 less than or equal to less than or equal to 14. It goes from x to x. 
this would be 14 comma 0 wouldn't it and then the range would be from 0 to 300,000 you're going to go from the bottom to the top always 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 0 to 300,000 so remember, if you're doing a problem like this and your answer is less than one, it's 0. .0000 something, it's going to be zero living things, okay? Let's go to the next one. Lucy Claire wants to rent an apartment at the Newton Pine Haven apartment complex. Oh, ho, ho, ho. After moving in, the exterminator finds 30 cockroaches. She can't find, afford the exterminator for another 20 days. The exterminator says the population will double every two days. Write this situation as an exponential function. Okay, so our starting amount is 30. And it's going to double, right? Where does it say double? The exterminator says it'll double, so our common product would be 2, would it? Now then, how many times will the 2 days go into the 20 days? If you take 20 divided by 2, you get 10, don't you? So we're going to do 30 parentheses 2 to the 10th power, right? If you put that in a calculator, it's 30 parentheses 2 caret 10. So let's put this in and find out how many cockroaches are in that apartment. 30 parentheses 2 caret 10. Hit enter. 30,720 cockroaches. Oh, 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 oh. Remember, they fly around when you're sleeping. They can land right on you when you're asleep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so we're going to start over here. This will be roaches. This will be days. And remember, we're going to plot 10, aren't we? Because it's going to be 10 times that this happens. So we're going to start at 0, 30. Since it's growth, we're going to put the y-intercept here. If it's decay, you put the y-intercept at the top, and it's going to go up to 10 comma 30,270 or 720 720 and then the curve is going to do something like that in it what would the y-intercept of this graph represent 30 equals initial amount what would the common product of this graph be it doubles so the common product's two what's the asymptote y equals zero which is the x-axis on the next worksheet, you're going to have to write the asymptote as an equation. Your domain goes from 0 to 10, doesn't it? And the range is going to go from 30 to 30,720. 30, okay, I'm going to finish up. If you know how to do this okay right now, this is the problems are just going to keep repeating like this. I'll probably post this key up here if you don't want to watch the videos. If you want to go through and do them by yourself, I'll, I'll scan this and, and post the key so you can see if you did them right. I'm going to keep videoing and finish this up, though. Okay. Lucy Claire can finally afford the extermination fee. The poison will terminate 70% of the cockroaches each day. Oh, oh, oh. It is estimated that there are 30,000 cockroaches. Write this situation with an exponential function. Since we're getting rid of the, of the, my, of the roaches, we're going to subtract from 100 and get 30%. That will be our common product, right? So we start off with 30,000. you got to squeeze it in here, and our common product will be 0.3. So to get the answer, we're going to do 30,000, parentheses, 0.3, caret, and we're going to use, right, how many cockroaches will be there after a week? So seven days. So 30,000 times 0.3 to the seventh power. So let's punch that in. 30,000, parentheses, 0.3, close parentheses, caret, seven. So I got 30,000 times 0.3 to the seventh power, and we only have 6.561. That's actually going to be, uh, let's do seven. We're going to round up to seven. So after seven days, there will be seven roaches left, won't there? That's pretty decent. So we're going to put the Y, this will be roaches. This will be days. So we're going to put up here 0, 30,000. Down here, we're going to put 7, 7, and our line is going to go down something like this, isn't it? Okay, so the y-intercept, 30,000, 
same thing every time equals initial amount or you could say starting number or a lot of ways to say this the common product would be 0.3 it would not be the 70 percent would it you got to subtract the asymptote is y equal to zero which is the x-axis the domain is going to go from zero to seven and remember the range goes from the bottom to the top so it goes from seven to thirty thousand so the range goes from seven to thirty thousand and you always put less end symbols in for the domain and the range don't you let's do number 16 msu is moving into the Butte pine grove mobile home park after a week she finds out that there are six mice in her house she can't afford the extermination for six thirty days until then the mice population will triple every five days write this situation with an exponential function okay so we start off with how many mice six mice that's our starting amount and the population will what what does it say triple so that's going to be three so our common products three and we want to know 30 days right how many times will five go into 30 it's going to go six times right so the population will reproduce six times right so we're going to do six parentheses three carrot six and find out how many mice will be in that apartment so six parentheses three to the sixth power oh i gotta hit carrot six and enter and there's four thousand three hundred and seventy four mice so four thousand three hundred and seventy four mice now then let's draw our y-intercept the y-intercept will be 0, 0,6. The y-axis will be the number of mice. The x-axis will be the days. And we're going to go up to 6, 4,374. Just going to have those mice all over apartment. So the curve is going to look something like that. Remember, you're drawing an exponential growth curve. And you're just guesstimating what that curve looks like. What would the y-intercept of the graph be? 6 equals initial amount every single time. It's the same thing. What would the common product be? It would be 3. That's a triple. What is the asymptote? The asymptote is y equal to 0, which is the x-axis. The domain is going to go from 0 to 6. And the range goes from the bottom to the top, 6 to 4,374. 4, and we got two more problems to do like this. You're going to have one problem like this on your quiz. You'll have one problem like this, and you'll have to give something down here on their quiz, okay? I'm going to make it pretty simple because some of y'all don't have a calculator. Okay, last two problems. Baba Bob comes to Embassy's rescue to get rid of the mice. He has rat poison from the Woodville feed store oh, 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 that will terminate 60% of the mice every two days. It is estimated that there are 3,000 mice in the house. How many mice will there be after 10 days? Okay, so our initial amount is 3,000. That's gonna be our starting number. And then we're gonna take the 60% and subtract it from 100, which will be 40%, which will be 0.4, which will be our common product. And then every two days, the poison works every two days, right? So 10 divided by 2 is 5. So it's going to take five cycles of this, won't it? So 3,000, parentheses 0.4, carrot 5. So after five sets of this poison, how many mice will there be? Okay, so let's type this into the calculator. Hopefully we don't have a lot of mice left. 3,000, parentheses 0.4. Four, close parentheses, carrot five. So 3,000 times 0.4 to the fifth power, and we get 30.72. That's going to be 31 mice. So 31 mice. So we're going to round the 30.72 to 31. So we're going to graph this. We got mice, and we got days, and we're going to start off at 3,000. So put a dot up here, 0, 3,000, and it's going to go down to five sets of poison, and it's 31, so 5, 31. So the curve is going to do something like this, won't it? What would the y-intercept of the graph represent? 3,000 equals initial amount. 
what would the common product of the graph be? The common product is 0.4. What's the asymptote? Y equals 0, which is the x-axis. The domain goes from 0 to 5. And the range, we go from 31 to 3,000. Remember, you go from the bottom to the top. This will not be that difficult, okay? On your quiz, I may give you this, and I may ask you for the domain and range. I'm going to ask you for something in here, okay? And I'm going to keep it pretty simple because, like I said, some of y'all really don't have a calculator, so I'm going to try to be something by hand you can do. Okay, and the last problem. Bubba Bob released four rabbits on his uncle's ranch in Chester. The population of the rats will double every month. Write this situation as an exponential function. So we start off with four, and if it doubles, it'll be two. How many rabbits will be on the ranch after two years? So that's going to be 24 months, it? okay? 24 months. Okay, so our equation will be four parentheses two carat 24, right? So let's punch that in there. Find out how many rabbits will be four parentheses two carat 24. So we start off with four rabbits. They double every month. How much for 24 months? Jiminy crickets. That is a lot of rabbits. So, comma, 67 million, 108,000, 67 million rabbits. 108,000, comma, 864. Okay, so it's 67,108,864 rabbits. Wow. So we start off, this will be rabbits. And down here we'll have months, won't we? So we start off at zero months with four rabbits, don't we? And then we end up at 24 months, comma, 67, and I'm just going to put million. Because it's going to be kind of hard to fit all that in. And then it's just going to go up like that, won't it? What would the y-intercept of the graph represent? 4 equals the initial amount. So we start off with 4 rabbits. The common product would be 2. The y-asymptote is going to be y equals 0, which is the x-axis. The domain starts at 0 and goes to 24 months. And the range starts with 4 rabbits, and it goes up to 67 million 108,864. That is a lot of rabbits. Be a lot of happy hawks, won't there? Remember to always believe. And remember, if you need to believe, you need Pentagon teeth.